In between March Madness and those cold temperatures, you may have missed some big headlines. Our Josh Birch breaks down some of this week's top stories in your Week in Review. A fire like few had ever seen before could be seen for miles in downtown Raleigh Thursday night. A multi-million dollar apartment complex under construction went up in flames, causing hundreds to evacuate around it. More than 100 firefighters battled that blaze for hours. In the east, a Leo Jenkins cancer doctor was arrested, charged with three counts of trafficking opium or heroin. Dr. Clinton Lineweber's home was raided earlier in the week. Investigators later arrested his son, Gregory Lineweber, after they discovered child porn on his laptop. I can take you out on a date if you don't mind going out with an older man and all stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, all right, bye, you know, like quickly scooted in the apartment. A Greenville Uber driver is now under investigation for making unwanted advances on female passengers. Multiple women reported the driver had stalked them after the ride, one even saying she was locked in the car until she agreed to give him her number. Uber has now suspended the driver pending an investigation. And the flu death across the state is rising with 20 more people, including one from Lenore County, dying over the past week. The total flu death is now 110 in the state. It still isn't too late to get your flu vaccine. With your Week in Review, I'm Josh Birch, 9 in your side.